Hey, welcome back to Juicy Tech YouTube channel. My name is Ario D. Juice. Um, real quick, let's talk about my fourth week at this coding boot camp here in South Florida. Um, so right off back, I do want to say this. Um, the and I'm sorry for looking. There. I'm trying to like wrap this um, mask and put it away. But anyway, um, so far my experience at this boot camp has been positive. Um, it's very intense class is super challenging but it's really exciting i like learning about programming and all those things i like to program software or just um, things in general it's fun but um I, I will say this if you're looking to join or enroll in a boot camp i will very much encourage you to study as much as possible before you decide to attend a boot camp now what i mean by this is um i kind of wish i did more research or just more practice on the fundamentals of i guess coding so stuff like right so right now we're focused so much on javascript which is a, a programming language and i wish i kind of focus more like focus months right on javascript and just learning the all the basics basically i mean from your variables your methods and functions and arrays loops your your if else statements I wish I really focus for like months on my own before attending a, a boot camp because I do feel lost because I'm so new to this. I'm going to learn it eventually. I know I will. I think I'm a smart person, but I do kind of regret not putting more time and just practice on my own before joining a boot camp. So I would kind of encourage you if you're looking to join a boot camp, learn as much as possible on your own. I mean, learn all the basics of JavaScript or whatever language that, that you're, you know, trying to learn. Um, they're, they're somewhat pretty much the same. Uh, there's some here and there tweaks, you know, but they're all pretty much the same thing. All languages for, from, you know, Python, JavaScript. Um, it's almost the same thing. The same syntax somewhat. But you get my picture. Just, I, I would very much encourage you to, encourage you to do that. Um, learn as much as possible on your own practice the code blocks really try to understand how loops and arrays work um, when to use them how to use them that's something i very much wish i knew more of before joining a boot camp because i'm so i feel behind i'm not i know i'm not if that makes any sense because i'm still learning i know what i know what the syntax of a array looks like or a for loop right and if i'm talking crazy to you i'm sorry but when I see the syntax, I know exactly what this is. So I guess my biggest, um, ch I guess, hurdle or block is trying to figure out how to work the code block or just the body of a code. Does that make any sense? That's my biggest challenge, trying to figure out how to make it work, how to really use it properly to accomplish whatever I'm trying to accomplish, right? Because everything, it, it, it all depends on what you're trying to do, what the code is asking from you. Like, it, it all depends on that and also i do think maybe it's just my personal opinion but i do think it's also um best to think about the next programmer who's going to see your work how you have everything laid out like is it understandable is it something that someone could read easily and know what the hell you're trying to do in this code right all that is something you should focus on when you're you know coding it's not just about you see something code 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 right you you just it's like you need to figure out what it is you're trying to do whatever are you are you trying to build something or fix something like that's the focus what are you trying to do and then use whatever tools to accomplish that goal to me that's coding and that's the hard part for me to figure out what to use in a situation whatever it is you know to accomplish whatever goal that's coding to me and that's something again i wish i put more time into before joining a boot camp just all the fundamentals of you know javascript and you know document database i knew nothing about this stuff until i joined the boot camp i never heard of an api in my life never heard of apis and you know databases and come on you know uh, how, how to like set up a you know a a local host you know for it to like for, for it to connect to your api or you know your like like your code in javascript all that is so many steps that i'm still trying to figure out and it's not easy because it's I never saw this stuff before. I never heard of it. And it's my first time doing this. So I'm extremely just, I won't say lost, but I was trying to get it, you know, really, I'm just trying to get more solid in that. I hope I'm making sense. 
and I have to get back because we're on a 10 minute break. I have like four more minutes. But I do want to put this out real quick, this video, to anybody that's looking to join a boot camp. Um, I will very much, I'm telling you, I will, I will seriously sit my butt down and focus on whatever, again, whatever programming language you're trying to focus on. If it's JavaScript, focus on the um, variables, the functions, loops, arrays, methods, objects, all those things you are going to know. You know, um, if you're trying to use JavaScript or just a programming language in general, you know, like the the console log, all these things you need to really put more time into. I think I just 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 my opinion. I would if I if I could turn back, you know, the hands of time, I would have done that more. I would have really put more focus on that and practice as much as possible. And I'm ready for you know more of a challenge. Then I'll join the boot camp. You know, just because I've never heard of an API before. I probably would have bumped into it on YouTube, but I'd just rather just learn from people who are in the field. Because that's one thing about this boot camp. A lot of people there are actual software engineers, and they're incredible people. They're very smart, and they know their shit. And they're teaching me what they know. They're teaching me all the tips and tricks of the industry. We go to networking, you know, we, we go to networking events, meet a lot of different people in that field. It's amazing. And that's the pros of being in a boot camp. You're in... You're, you're just in the know. You're around people. You're in the community. You're around people who are in the field. And you're just networking and conversing and making new friends. It's the best. It's so much fun. I love going to these events. There's one in Miami. I'm so off topic. But I'm just talking about all the pros right now of a boot camp. The networking um, events is the best. That's what you're really paying for. And that's to me, that's priceless. It really is. But again, um, I have to leave here real soon. Once again, if you're trying to, if, if you're looking to join a boot camp, I encourage you to sit your butt down for like at least six months, maybe even a year, right? And just learn as much as possible, CSS, JavaScript, HTML, all the fundamentals of JavaScript, document database. There's so much more that I can tell you, man. Maybe on the next video, I'll have, maybe give you like a list of all the things that you should focus on before joining a boot camp, because it's really gonna help you out, and you re and you won't be so lost when you're in the class, because it's so much work, it's so much information to retain, it's so many steps to go by to make things connect and work. It's really not easy. So I still love being in this boot camp. I don't regret it at all. But I do wish I would have studied more and put more focus on my own before joining a boot camp. So maybe this can benefit you if you're watching this to do the same thing before you spend your money. Learn on your own as much as possible. Much love to you. Let me get out of here. I'll get back to class. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.